Okay, we have another really nice Berg Vector German padlock. Uh, this one is uh, the Atlantic version. It's a model 217F slash 50 for 50 millimeter. Really a nice lock. The outer casing, although it might look like metal, this is a a plastic uh, weatherproofing thing to, so it can be used in a marine environment without any damage. Really nice uh, lock. There's no way to shim it, of course. You can't get it from the top. And as far as I know, there are no defeats for these. It, if you know one, please uh, let me know. Um, uh, brand new key. Here's the key for it. Here's the bidding. So got a little bit of a challenge there. <clears throat> it works perfectly. Non-key retaining. Okay, let's see what we can do with this thing. Now, like all big Vokters, the engineers went to work on us. We, if you look closely here, we have a, the Y keyway. Uh, but we have the pins that stick probably about halfway down to eat up the space. The other way that they kind of cheat us is that if you look at the side here from that first pin, there's not a lot of room to get a top of the keyway tension wrench. We could probably get it, but it would be pretty precariously balanced up there on the top, and it would probably fall out uh, about the time we started to put some decent tension on it. So we're kind of forced to use a bottom of the keyway, and quite honestly, it doesn't really matter. We take the thin one, and you can see it does work, and it doesn't really eat up too much of the working space. We're still screwed. We, we still can't access those pins from directly below. So what we have to do is put our pick in sideways through this slot here, and then we kind of roll it, and we, just like picking dimples, we got to roll it and figure out if the pin is binding or not, or if it's giving feedback or not. And then if it is, if we roll it and it does give feedback, then we kind of have to turn the pick and come around the corner, pick him, hopefully setting him successfully, then retreat back to that space and, and then continue down inside of the keyway to the next pin, to detect the next pin. So it's quite a bit of a challenge. So uh, I told you these big vectors are a lot of fun, and that's one of the reasons. The other reason is they're all, of course, uh, security pins, so they're not going to cut us any slack whatsoever. So let's go ahead and start uh, start picking this thing. I'll hold it down here so we can all see it. See what we can find. Okay. It looks like the third pin has already given us a fault set. And let's see what we can do with that. I mean, that was like a free gift. So let's see if we can find it. another pin that might be binding. It feels like the second one is. So let's, while we're here, let's go ahead and try to set him. And now it looks like we lost our false set. Well, we know who, where he lives. And there we go. We got it back already. Continuing down, let's see what else we can find here. Okay, looks like pin four, giving us a little bit of feedback. Let me see if I can position this right on the tip of it. So it's, you're kind of guessing about where it is when you go around that corner. And I believe, I believe he's right about there. Let's give it a shot. I felt lucky, and that kind of paid off. But it got to be—I'm going to have to be lucky about 25 more times if, if these if this Bergwachter holds to the way his all his brothers treat me. Okay, I'm on the fourth pin. Got a little feedback. Let me come around the corner, and there's a set. Let me check everybody in the back of the bus here. Looks like three popped out, so I might as well put him back in his seat. Well, I'm glad I didn't do that because it turned out to be two. It was further up on the shank of the pick. Come on. I'm really getting a lot of feedback. I just can't get around that corner and make him go home. Get in your seat. 
think I might have screwed up there. I might have set two pins instead of just one. So what I'm going to do, you've seen this trick before, I'm going to try to put my pick all the way to the rear and I'm just going to jiggle. Maybe we can recover and maybe we can jiggle that pin back out and salvage it. I don't know, but while I'm there I'm going to go ahead and pick four because I'm right on him. There we go. So we, we definitely have not lost everything. I'm on four again. Okay, got him again. I'm being lucky multiple times here. Three's back out. He went home that time successfully, thank goodness. Let me check the back of the bus. Everybody's in their seat. All these guys are in their seat. And then... Oh boy. Um, this is a infamous big Vokter trick with pin 5. I will have to draw this for you. These engineers, every time I go to Germany when I'm in my rental car, I'm praying I can find a big Vector engineer walking on the street. I can run over him with my car. These guys are good. Okay. That one was all the way at the bottom. That's why I was kind of freaking out. Because they're really difficult to get in under. And this last one is the same way it feels like. Let me do this jiggle, just settle things down a little bit. And I still have a fault set that tells me that that last one, yeah, that last pin is begging, but I don't know. He's. There we go. Oh boy, what a pick. I'm almost sweating. Let me show you what happened. And the big Vokters and even some of the Abuses are infamous for this little trick. Let my ruler be the bottom of the keyway. Let me uh, find a simulated pin. Here, we'll just use this. Here's a chamfer. I've only got one, so this is the last pin. Uh, if it'll stay still there. The other four, of course, are here, but ignore those because we had already set those. And here's what happened. Uh, you're going to have to use your imagination just a little bit. This pin was all the way down on the bottom, literally touching the bottom. Uh, and what I had to do is, remember the curved keyway, I couldn't get my pick under him because he's, I'm using a medium hook. I have to because of the wide variation in, in Berg, Wachter, and Abus. You can't use a normal hook. Uh, successfully anyway, so I used the medium hook. I couldn't get him under there, so what I had to do is I had to actually turn him sideways, slide him under, and then once he was under there I had to roll him up, and of course he didn't want to set very high. So now I've got this down there, and then I had to set him up a little bit, pull back, set him up a little bit, pull back, and then I could get my the tip of my uh, pick on the tip of that pin only then could I get the pressure and get the leverage I needed to pull it, push him up. If I had tried to do it simply from here, I didn't know where I was. So it would be pretty difficult to set him effectively. I couldn't have the right leverage and I wouldn't be sure I could do it right. I probably would have lost it. Anyway, I have bored you enough. I've killed you with details. I apologize for that, but I find this, to me, this is interesting. This is a, a game where you beat a mechanical device and I do it. I try to do two or three of them every night. Anyway, thank you for your time again very much and um, uh, be safe and always be legal. Thanks a lot. Bye.